Boom. Look at Polite and Nityama, who, oh, by the way, is being accused of sexually assaulting women. Nityama. Wow. How does Brother Cavity keep ending up with all of these pedophiles and rapists and sex abusers? How? Look, new covenant member, head of crown, Shantim Nityama's tantric mongoose. Ooh, right? This is on I Am Brother Polite's channel. This is in 2013. So now we're going to play the video because Brother Polite told you I ain't no weirdo. Everything in this video checks the weirdo box. Everything, when we watch this video in a couple of seconds, this motherfucking looks weird to me. This don't look like something I would want to be a part of. But let's make it bigger. Let's watch it together, right? He's making a woman orgasm without touching her. Let's look at it. I said the truth of the matter is bliss comes on its own. First, you got to let go of your suffering yes. unconditionally. That's right. You got to not even care what the rest of the world thinks about what you're going through. Because you know you're unloading, you're unburdening yourself. You're getting rid of years of stuff that you've been carrying around. Wondering is that ever going to be a thing? Mm. <laughs> Let it go. Yeah. So the brothers see the audience. They don't see me being around with these women. They'll cry. Oh, don't worry. He's going to start crying in a second. He's making her have an orgasm with his hands. Let me tell you something. I'm a freak. I love sex. Had a lot of sex in my life. I ain't never made a woman orgasm by just running my hands over her. I need to learn that, man. I, I've never, I've never heard of no shit like that before. That you could just rub your hands over someone and boom, they just start orgasm. That's weirdo shit. Polite. In my book, right? Boom, we got a box. Motherfucker, that checks the box of being a weirdo. Right? Right? That checks the weirdo box to me. Man, ooh. Ooh, and then he starts crying and she's just sitting there and she's moving. Motherfucker, that's weird shit to me. That checks the box of being a motherfucking weirdo pervert to me. Oh, I ain't you know, come on, Sai, you know me. I'm just with a bunch of big booty voluptuous women. You know, I don't get down like that. Motherfucker, that's weird to me. A new covenant, this is the type of shit that new covenants into. Don't tell me. That I'm embellishing and I'm making it up. That's a cult. If you can't see that that's a sex cult, what does that have to do with liberating black people? How is that going to, how is rubbing your hands over a woman and releasing that chakra helping black people? Is that going to stop Tamir Rice from getting gunned down? Is that going to close the racial wealth gap? Help, because. I'm a coon. I'm an agent. I, what the fuck do I know? Right? Help me understand how that's liberating black people. Come on, man. You can't see this for what it is. Only thing he's trying to liberate is some booty. Because, see, let me show you. Let me show you how the weirdos go. Let me show you, right? See, he's going to demonstrate to you. And see, she's in on the act, right? Follow me here. So what he's going to do, he's going to make her perform an orgasm, right? And you women that's watching it, you're going to be sitting there like, damn, I, I want some of that, right? And then you're going to set up a session with the pervert, with the weirdo, with the pedophile. And then he's going to get you alone. And then he's going to show to you, see, first of all, ain't no touching. This is how to groom you. Eh, I'm not going to touch you and I'm going to make you orgasm, right? Then it's going to graduate to getting you alone. 
And then you know, say, I got an even more special skill if I touch you. Because see, if I can make you come without touching you, imagine if I touch you. And then you were sitting there because you gullible. You want to go, oh, okay, yeah, you can touch me. And then before you know it, he's doing all kind of freaky, deep, pervertary shit to you. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Because if he can make her come without touching her, imagine what he's going to do to you. And you go, you sit up there and you go, damn. Damn, yeah, that's knowledge. This ain't no motherfucking knowledge. This is a sex cult. This is perversion. This is being a sexual deviant. That's all. Ain't no knowledge here. There's no knowledge here. Now, let's look at who he is. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to come back to the video, right? Because I talked about this earlier. Follow me here. Because this is how the sex cult works. Several women, several women have come forward with stories of abuse by neo-tantra teacher Shantam Nityama, who calls himself the divine madman. Women report being sexually violated by him during sessions and trainings. They describe a sex cult environment where Nityama's inner circle of women recruit other women to have sex with him and pressure women during trainings to sleep with him. Let's read that line again. They describe a sex cult environment where Nityama's inner circle of women, wives, recruit other women to have sex with him and pressure women during trainings to sleep with him. So this is how they use polygamy to be predators because they go get other women, right, who's in on it, and then they build the bond with you. The women build the bond with you, and this is how they get close to your children. This is how they get close to you. And then they get you alone and they rape your kids and they rape you or they drug you because they say we doing new age stuff. Drink this potion. Drink this herbs. Right. Because they're an herbalist. Polite's an herbalist. Right. So they, they concoct some herbs and then boom, your ass fall asleep. And then next thing you wake up, you got semen and DNA all over you. Right. He's giving he's carrying diabetes, man. He's using the Dr. Sebi diet. Right. Giving you that aquiline, giving you those herbs, that potion, gonna cure that diabetes up, cure your lupus. Wow. And before you know it, boom, you knocked out. He gonna cure you, all right? He gonna give you the cure. He gonna, they gonna give you that cure. And you don't, man, Polite's a genius. Yeah, you know what? Polite is a genius at making you motherfuckers look as dumb as you look. He, I give him that. He has definitely... Polite has given me a new perspective on a majority of you so-called conscious back to Africa, red, black, and green, B1, pan-Africanist. Goddamn. I, I always held you in low regard. Now I look at you motherfuckers down here, right? You're going to let a guy say he's an herbalist, come give you some herbs, and you, and you pass out and go to sleep, right? But you're going to tell me I'm a coon, right? Let's listen to, all right, let's listen to him and Polite here talking again back in 2013. And see, you understand, I got so much, I got so much information that people's been sending me. I, I could do a five hour live stream. I got uh, women who dealt with polite. But I think that some of that information needs to be given to the authorities. That's what I think should happen. In fact, many people are not believers, which we don't want them to believe. We want them to become knowers yes. of your art and craft and science. So we're going to go right into it. My brother has been able to give women orgasms without touching them. And not just that, he has also been able to tap in to the part of a woman's body found in the throat, which he'll explain, in which case he's able to help her establish an orgasmic experience beyond just the vaginal office, but also from the throat. And in turn, uh, have a uh, super elated from the experience. And I want him to expound on this, because not only is he not touching the women, not only is he not touching the women, he's been able to uh, have them engage in the orgasmic experience for more than one part of their body and it's very significant that particular part of the body because that has not been taught much brother cavity was that what you was doing in the hotel room with the young girl allegedly 
Could that be what you were trying to do in the hotel room with the 14-year-old girl, Brother Cavity, allegedly? Could you have been trying to give her an orgasm from her throat chakra, allegedly, Brother Cavity Loke? See, you motherfuckers are so woke, you are dumb. You are asleep. Right? Could you have been trying to give that 14-year-old girl the special throat chakra orgasm? Brother Cavity Loke? See, you're talking to someone that's highly intelligent. You're not talking to no fool. Could that be what you was doing in that hotel room? That 14 year old, could you have been trying to act, uh, you know, activate the chakra, the throat chakra? And you people, you new age spiritual people, you said, Oh man, these people, they teaching you some new age information. Wow. I don't want none of your new age information. I'd rather be a coon. Right? So the indigenous group is okay then? Okay, let's get you out of here. I don't know what you're talking about, right? Because you just posted, but we get you up out of here because I addressed you earlier, Tyrell. Thanks for the $5, but right, you could go now. You're not, you're, your service is no longer needed because, right? Now think about it. These are the type of people. These are the type of people that are supposed, these are the black men that are supposed to be nation building and protecting the community. These type of men, these type of men, right? The strong alpha males that you black women, you got to submit to these type of men, right? They want to sit up here and they want to debate about the UCC or the BCC or the DCC. No. <coughs> New Covenant is a cult. Right? Now, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. How can you say that? How can you, how can you just make a blanket statement? Well, let's listen to Mr. Polite. Say it out of his own mouth, right? This, this is not me making this up, right? Let's listen to Polite. Say it out of his mouth. Let's go here. Let's go back to this video. And Polite's going to say it for you. And then we have Supreme Mathematics Inception of the Festival of Pisces, book 105 of our scripture. Um, see, they say, man, you got those brothers. Big, strong black men. Y'all complain, we not organized, y'all complain with gang members. So now when people say, yo, when he moved, they moved. And people get upset, yo, that looked like a cult. No, it looked like we organized. And it's clear that there's a fear of black men being organized. No, they moved. And people get upset, yo, that looked like a cult. No, it looked like we organized. And it's clear that there's a fear of black men being organized. <laughs> He said it. People say they look like a cult. They don't look like a cult. They organize. Yeah. Organized group of weirdos and perverts and pedophiles. They organize. They are organized to come after you. They organize. I'm real. I'm re so when you see these people commenting in here, right? Th these are the people. Oh, 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 they organized. They organize to come prey on you. They are organized. Oh, they, they've been in my, they've been threatening me. They've been, people have been inboxing me, posting my address. Oh, they've been threatening me. They organized. They telling me I can't come outside. If I come outside, God damn it. They may make me have an orgasm without touching me. They threatening me. They telling me, man, I better not come outside. They going to give me some of that tantra. They going to give me some of that tantra. They going to make me have an orgasm without touching me. It's the weirdo shit. Right. Big, strong black men. Right. Look at I want you to look at these people in this room and you tell me that don't look like a cult. You tell me that don't look like a cult. Watch this. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Right. Right. Watch. Watch these two men behind them. The bodyguards. Right. You think you think that they here trying to protect the black people from getting scammed and schemed? You think that they sitting here and they 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 trying to protect the community? No, watch it. They play shadow. Watch them. Mm -hmm. 
Right? Look at them. They follow him back and forth. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He walked one way, they walk another way. Do these men look like leaders? Do these men look like protectors of black women and children? Or do these look like a bunch of sucker ass niggas? Do these look like a bunch of followers? Do these look like a bunch of just bend over and do whatever polite say, motherfuckers? Or do they look like real men? Do they look like alpha males? Do they look like they can lead and build a nation? Or they look like a bunch of groupies with funny ass costumes on? You take that serious? You take you you take that serious. And look, there's a room full of people in here learning about this. A room full of people learning about the tantra. They learning how to get an orgasm without getting touched. These are adults sitting here listening to this weird old shit. Don't tell me I'm making this up. <laughs> That's the code. But anyway, let's go back here to him. All right? Let's 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 listen to him. You know, speaking. Right. Right. Let's go to where I have an eight minute mark. Right. Let's let's, let's get to it where he starts talking. I believe it's the eight minute mark. It's your past, and your past, I have, have nothing but a Wait, hold on. I want to I make sure I find the right video. I want to find the right video. Here we go. Here we go. This is the right one. Right? Now, listen, the title is called Master Nityama's Orgasm Without Touching. Right? So they went, they were literally, this was like a lecture circuit that they were going around doing. That, that I'm going to get into this guy in a second. But just follow me here. They were going around and lecturing the community and people were paying to come see this weirdo shit. Follow me. Role as a man to take her and go over every spot on her body and activate it in order to release the information that she brought to the planet that we as men need in order to carry out why we are here. So if she's never activated, then you just float around. And she's pissed in order to carry out activated in order to every spot on your body and activate it in order to release the information that she brought to the planet that we as men need in order to carry out why we're here. So I want you to think, of, so now think about it. This is New Covenant having sex lectures. What was Dr. York running? Sex cult. Wow. Wow. You don't see a pattern. You don't see connections. You don't see the connections here. You don't see the, you don't see the problem here. You, if they're having lectures where they're traveling around talking about sex and he's talking about they're organized, they're an organized sex cult. How hard is it to just put one plus one together, right? Now, um, address some of these donations. Um, Eagle Backflip says, of all the things the black woman is struggling with, it's the orgasm that is the straight point to sorting it out. You can't make this stuff up. Exactly. They use the oppression that you're going through and they're saying, oh, man, you just need more orgasms. We just got to help you get more orgasms. It's a sex cult, right? But they're hiding it as some type of a new age, right? New age that's going to help you grow, right? But they're going to say, I ain't no weirdo. I ain't no weirdo. <sighs> Come on. A family hustler says, that's right. Expose those, uh, these weirdos. Yeah. The weirdest shit ever. Um, Eagle Backflip says, I want to see the 90 books listed. See him speak seven languages. His investment account balances. The stuff people believe without evidence is shocking. 100%. 100%. This is, this, is the cra this is the madness that you see up here. Got rid of Tyrell. Um, and I said, 
I know some of you donated, but the priority went past. I, I haven't had a chance to address it. Like, I just, that, this, like, how, how could you watch this stuff and not say to yourself that this looks weird? why he's doing this too i just want you to understand like go and watch this video uh he's actually crying while he's doing this and like i said he's not a weirdo right it says he teaches that aids and sexual diseases are an illusion so he doesn't use a condom nityama has no lineage or teacher other than having spent time in osho's ashram Forgive me if I said that incorrectly. He lives in Australia in a home with 10 women, polygamy, who service him sexually and work for free. He says several crazy women have lawsuits against him and he'll be arrested if he returned to the U.S., says a former member. Let's read that again. He says several crazy women have lawsuits against him and he'll be arrested if he returned to the U.S., or uh, says a former member, right? It says, when Ashley Morgan, not her real name, went to Shantim Nityama for a healing session, right? Healing session. She believed it consists primarily of energy work based on what she read on his website. She wanted to learn about Tantra and had put a lot of trust in him, giving his status as a teacher. Ashley said the session started immediately when he entered the room. He didn't explain what would happen, discuss boundaries, ask her about her background, or ask her consent to touch her sexually. Rather, he walked in and began a 30-minute orgasmic hug. Then he moved to the bed where he used a variety of energy techniques along her spine and body. And I'm not laughing at the assault stuff. I'm laughing about how just silly this shit is. Like, what adult would even want to go to some shit like this? It just doesn't make sense. After about three hours, he told her it was time to undress. Once she got naked and laid on a table, he consulted with his obis, <laughs> a voodoo divination device, and then turned to her and said, apparently, I don't need to penetrate you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like he just got a device there, and he's like, "Oh, do I need to penetrate her or not?" Device, shake it up. Oh no, nah, I ain't gotta penetrate you. <laughs> like what the fuck? I I I can't believe that this is what woke people really are into. <clears throat> Right? <laughs> like like the, the, the machine said, I don't need to penetrate you, so I'm not. He asked her. Oh, hold on. She didn't know why he said he didn't need to penetrate her. He asked her if she was married or had a boyfriend. She said he made it seem like he was trying to figure out why the obese said no penetration. <laughs> During the session, she says he sexually violated her. 
<laughs> so you just sit up there. I shave my brother and sister. Oh man. It said, I can't penetrate you. Then he shook it again. Oh, I gotta shake it more. Um, you know, you got a husband? Um, damn, why this thing won't let me penetrate her? This is perversion. This is sick. This is sick beyond a reasonable doubt. This is the most this is the craziest shit I've ever seen in my life. It is crazy. Now, back to Jesse Lee Peterson, because see, I love this interview that Jesse Lee Peterson was able to do. I want to go to the nine minute mark when he starts asking him about having sex with all of these women. How do you do it? Follow me here. So uh, it's not like, you know, a random person. Um. <laughs> so I was thinking, I was watching the video, yes. you know, so I can get some idea of what's going mm -hmm. on. How do you have sex with all of them? And how do you, <laughs> I knew that was going to come up. Yeah. Everyone asked. How do you he had feel to warm it up, you know, <laughs> loosen it up. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, this is a lot of work. And sex wears you down after a while, right? This is true. And so how do you have sex with four women? Do you make dates? or How do you well, do it? Are we not too mechanical about it? So every business is a person that has to be nurtured. And even in monogamous relationships, people make it their business to engage each other instead of create something effectively yeah. in terms of commerce. So with this idle time, so to speak, this devil time, the women have their own perspective businesses. It keeps them pretty much busy, keeps me busy, my own business, and then the business that we create together as two, and then the business we create together as a whole. So you have sex every day or four days uh, a week since so you have four wives? I don't have sex every day. In fact, I think I have less sex than uh, single men and monogamous men. So when you get ready to have sex with the other one? You, 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 but you see how, again, man, shout out to my fellow coon, Jesse Lee Peterson, because one thing about us coons, we just have so much logic, right? Because see how Jesse Lee doubled back? Because see... Many of you don't understand. This is masterful what he's doing. He's laying the trap for him. And he's saying, how could you be this entrepreneur? How can y'all be mothers? How could you be all of these things and have four wives? See, th this is the same question that I ask. There's only 24 hours in a day. So how are you able to sexually satisfy four women? How are you able to emotionally be able to satisfy four women? So you want, see, if you just used a little bit of your brain, you would say to yourself, that's kind of hard to do, to be able to emotionally support all of the children, all of the wives, maintain the business, write 90 pamphlets, run your stock trading course, run your luxury car. How could, how? Oh, all of the wives are each doing it. Each one of them are running a different part of the business. Hmm, that's interesting. Cause when I come to this Instagram page, I don't really see business going on on her page. I don't, you know, do y'all see business going on here? Does this look like someone running a business? Does this look like this? Does does she look like? Does she look like a person that's running a business? Does she look like a person running a business? Or, or does this look like a person trying to, you know, advertise their assets? Advertise their assets. Does this look like a business owner? Was she running? Because th these are not like her own swimsuit line, right? So she's not like a, a fashion. She doesn't have like a clothing company because she's wearing designer clothing. Right, so what, what, what's a business? See, when you look at this and you start understanding how Hollywood operates and how pimping works, if you start looking at the way pimping works, 
older man go gets a younger woman. Then the other women, they go out here and they recruit other women and you start grooming them. Runaway girls. Girls who are having problems with their mom. Right? This is the grooming. It's how the grooming works. So, you're asking yourself, right? Could that individual be the pimp? And could these women be the hoe? <clears throat> could that be how they went from the video at? Could that be how we went from Bruce Leroy with the karate outfit? Could that be? Could it be? No, no. Speculating here. Could it be that's how you went from Bruce Leroy, busty, musty, and crusty, to now you got Rose Royces? Right? Could could that be how you went from ashy to classy? See, when you when you start using your brain, when you start using your third eye, and you start looking at these things, you can start kind of coming and arriving at a conclusion because you can use circumstantial evidence to lead you to a certain outcome. It looks like pimping to me. I don't see a lot of stock trading going on here. You see stock trading going on here? I don't, I don't, it don't look like stock trading to me. I don't see any real estate deals going on over here. It don't look like real estate's going on on this page to me. Right? Does this look like a real estate deal to you? Right? Are these people trading stock options here? See, when you use your brain, when you use your brain that you was born with, man, you could be dangerous. You could be powerful. You could be the creator of your own blessings in your own life. Looks like escorting to me. If, if I had to, if I... If I was a betting man, that would look like advertising and escorting to the celebrity friends and mentor. So when you are a celebrity mentor, could that be you are the plug for the hoes, for the celebrities? I mean, oh, some of you say she has a beautiful body. Oh, oh she looks, she looks amazing. Right? Is this the advertisement? Questions you got to ask yourself. Right? See, but see, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really woke. Right? Because I'm a coon. See, one thing about coons like me and Jesse Lee Peterson, man, we are powerful because we can look at a lot of this shit and we can say it don't make sense. And that's what Jesse, P. Leaders, uh, Jesse Lee Peterson was highlighting in that interview. Notice how he kept drilling down and asking questions. Right? Now, they, people think Jesse Lee Peterson is slow because, see, what you have to understand is Jesse Lee Peterson's um, crowd is mainly right-wing Republicans. And he brings black people on here to make a fool of themselves. They come on his platform and they make an absolute fool of themselves in a mockery. It's a minstrel show. Right? So a lot of you think you're going on Jesse Lee Peterson and you making him. See, us coons, we make y'all look stupid. Because we just ask you questions and you answer them. And the audience loves it. It makes black people look so inferior, so stupid. That this man could even be a leader in your community. That this man, many of you come to me and say, he's a genius. And then I ask you, what has he built? And you say, he's a, Elon Musk is a genius. He's flying fucking rockets up to space. That's genius. Vitalik Buterin is a genius. He founded Ethereum. That's genius. 
creating something, building something that's going to impact people. This is a low budget pimp. Want to be rapper. And you say, that's, that's, that's a genius. That's Cause he got hoes and he got some cars that, that that's your barometer and measure of intelligence. Come on. And, and, and like I said, people like Vlad, Chessie Lee Peterson, they're mocking you. This is why they bring these people on there because they're mocking you. They want to make a mockery of black, real black consciousness, real black intelligence. They're mocking you. Because this is a joke. It's a joke. You know, someone said, making lease payments on a Rolls Royce, that's genius. Yeah, that's woke. That's woke. Now look at this. Look, 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 look what Army NC veteran says. Elon Musk hires genius engineers. Yeah, because see, what people understand is intelligent people attract other intelligent people. Right? So when you look at polite, do you see a team of people? Do you see a team of intelligent people? Do you see intelligent engineers and entrepreneurs? Or do you see a bunch of washed up ass rappers and thotties? Right? Do, do you see intelligent people? Do you see brilliant engineers? Or do you see a bunch of low budget ass rappers and thotties? Come on. You don't gotta be. You don't have to make this more complicated than it needs to be.